Not the only slippery spots in the tri-state, with the tri-state being slammed with freezing rain tonight. People are doing what they can to prevent their properties from turning into a piece of hazardous a sheet of ice. Eyewitness News' Brandon Bartlett reports. It's bad out there. The whole sidewalk was frozen, so I had a little playtime. I kind of slid like a little kid on ice skates. Some homeowners are taking extra precautions to stay safe during this blustery winter weather. I had to salt this morning because it was real, real bad in my drive. And I've got a ramp that I need to get in and out of the house with. We've been spreading salt throughout the week, preparing for what's to come. Logan Higginson is a co-owner of A1 Septic and Plumbing. I did witness a car get in their, try to get in their driveway and they, uh, they pulled back several feet and just gunned it up there and they, <laughs> they finally got it. In the winter, they de-ice driveways and parking lots. We've had a couple calls of um, some of our business owners being concerned of people slipping today. Um, I think some people probably have. Some people say slick spots on the roads are causing major concern. I slid once uh, this morning, so I've been driving like a snail most of the time. Stacy Harrison says he's being extra cautious driving across the twin bridges and overpasses. People are not driving like they should. I mean, it should slow, you know, slow down, go to a slower rate of speed. I wouldn't travel unless I just had to. But experts say we have to keep preparing to face Mother Nature's frigid wrath. We begin to get a few calls on freezing water lines. Um, headed into the weekend, it looks like we're definitely going to see a lot more of that. Making sure those cabinet doors are open, dripping faucets, and taking your uh, water hoses off will take you a long way. Brandon Bartlett, Eyewitness News.